Welcome, AVID 2020 members. This is the five C's of great dog training video. Come join us as we start on our first training video of 2020. Here are the five C's of great dog training. Number one, criteria. Two, clarity. Three, consistency. Four, Q. And of course, finally, let's celebrate. In this video, we'll be working nose in a cone with Thriller using the five C's. This will explain exactly how I use these five C's when I'm training a dog and how to make the most of your training. Number one is criteria. I'm defining exactly what I want the dog to do. In this case, I would like him to put his nose in a cone. Yes, we want the dog's nose to go in the cone. Right now, I'm not looking for duration. All I'm looking for is the dog's understanding to go inside the cone. Um, and again, I'm only going to reward correct responses. I'm not going to correct incorrect responses because the dog hasn't got a predetermined idea of what I would like yet. So we're just in the infant stage. All I want my dog to do is to place their nose inside the cone. My criteria is just that. No duration, just nose going inside the cone. Yes. Yes. Number two is clarity. I want it to be absolutely sure that Thriller knows I want his nose inside the cone. I need to have clarity prior to starting training. In this particular demonstration, I want my finish goal to be already defined. So for me, anytime I start training my dog, I want them to have the understanding of the behavior that um, I want as the finished behavior. Sometimes that takes small little successions to that final finish. Other times it will take um, perhaps one thing. So I'm going to have a very clearly defined um, behavior in my mind before I even start so that I can start to get my dog to understand. So the clarity of this particular exercise is I want my dog's nose to go inside of this cone. Initially what I'm going to do is I'm going to show him the cone. Yes. And any motion he has towards it, I'm going to reward him for it. Yes. 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 Now this particular cone is very good because I can place my food actually inside the cone. Yes. And it will start to get him eating inside the cone. Yes. My marker word here is yes. You can use a clicker. Yes. I find it's a little bit difficult to use a clicker because I have two hands being used currently. Grabbing myself a few more treats. And again, Dog's head goes in the, yes. In the cone, I'm going to say the word yes and reward. The three is, am I being consistent? Am I rewarding the dog for the behavior each and every time? This is very important in the starting stages of teaching a behavior to any dog. I, I want to be very, very consistent while training my dog so that every time they perform the behavior, they are going to get reinforced for it. Initially, I go to a one-to-one -one ratio. Sometimes a variable reinforcement is good, so meaning you don't give the dog a treat every time. However, initially, when you're first teaching a behavior, very important that you do a one-to-one -one ratio. So your dog gets lots of reinforcement for doing that. So there's obviously already understanding that this is a very important thing to put his nose into um, this cone. So he's trying desperately to try to do that. So my consistency would be that I really want to have him get the reinforcement for doing that. Otherwise, I'll work on what we call extinction of behavior, which he won't offer it at all. Right now, you can see he's already getting frustrated by not being able to do this. So in this particular case, I'm going to ease his frustration. Yes. Nose. Yes. Nose. Yes. And sometimes I might actually throw the treat away from it. Yes just so that he can offer the behavior without being too close. Only after establishing behavior can I add number four, the cue. The cue is the word that happens prior to asking the dog to do the behavior. Now that my dog is reliable on putting their head in the cone, what I want to do is add a word or a, a physical or a verbal cue to teach the dog about the antecedent, meaning the thing that happens before the behavior, and then obviously the consequence of the behavior. So in this particular case, we're going to call this nose, 
and nose means I want his nose to go inside the comb. So um, I've decided on my keyword, that's the only word I'm going to use, and it's the only behavior I'm going to ask for when I want my dog to perform putting his nose into a comb. So here we go, we're going to add the word nose. 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 And of course, in every training session, there's celebrate. I celebrate the dog for making the right choices and rewarding and reinforcing them every time. And finally, I'm going to work celebration. So celebration to me means making sure the dog understands the behavior is what you're looking for. Um, you don't have to be cold and calculating. You can make sure that the dog gets a really good idea of what you're looking for. He's offering me all kinds of stuff right now. So in this case, I'm going to celebrate the fact that he's got the idea of what I want him to do. No. Yes. 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 No. Yes. Yes. Nose. Yes. Nose. Yes. Nose. Yes. Hey. Nose. Yes. 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 Awesome, buddy. Good job. All right, I challenge all of you to get your dog nose into a comb. Right now, we're not working duration. All we're going to work on is the dog understanding to put their nose into something. It could be a tube, it could be a hole, it could be a margarine container, whatever you want. Just working on getting the dog's nose into something. That is new for 2020. All the new AVID members welcome, and uh, looking forward to seeing some of what you come up with. All right, AVID members, show me your nose in a cone. 2020.